Hello, everybody. In this video, we are going to look at circles and how we can use the set square method to calculate the center or a midpoint of a circle. So this is called a set square and you can find them in all geometry sets. So this one right here. So let's talk about circles for a second. We can use the paper folding method to find the center of a circle. When it comes to circles, we like to use the term center not midpoint, but they both mean the same thing here. So how would the paper folding method work? Well, if I had this circle cut out, I didn't have all this space here. What I can do is I can fold it in half this way and then fold it in half this way. And wherever those two lines would meet would be the center. And the reason why that works is because when I fold it in half perfectly, it creates a diameter, right? So a diameter is a line that goes from one edge of the circle to the other, passing through the center, right? And then if I fold it again this way, I'm creating another diameter. So because they pass through the center, where those two lines meet would be the center of the circle, right? Now, not all circles are foldable. So I'm going to show you a method that we can use using a set square, okay? So the method goes is, uh, or it goes as follows. So when I have my set square, I'm going to position it this way where the tip is pointing upwards. And I'm going to have this tip of the triangle, this edge, touch the circumference of the circle barely, okay? You can pick any spot around the circle, doesn't matter. So what you wanna do is you want this edge, this corner to just touch the circumference and that's it. We're not gonna go over, we're not gonna be under, it has to touch it like so. Now, as a result, we have this line here that intersects an, uh, a part of the circle. And we have a line here that also intersects a part of the circle. I'm going to mark these two intersections with a small line. Oops, hold on, I moved my triangle. There we go. And here. And I'm going to give these two points a name. Let's call them A and B, it doesn't matter. So this is point A, this is point B. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect where my little line crosses the circumference with where the circumference here crosses my other line, okay? So here's that first point right here. This is where they meet. I'm going to draw a dot for you. And this is the other point right here, okay? And I'm going to draw a line. I'm going really slowly because I wanna make sure that I am as accurate as possible. Here we go. So I've created a line. So what I've done right now is I've actually created a diameter, right? If I were to fold the circle this way, the, uh, the crease line would be right here, okay? So now I'm going to follow this procedure uh, one more time and I'm going to create another diameter. Now we use the same set square, but instead of putting it in the same location as before, just turn your circle and put it somewhere else, okay? Again, it doesn't matter where. So I'm going to turn it around like this and I'm gonna pick this location this time, okay? So this corner is just touching the circumference of the circle, the border of the circle. And now I can see that my set square is crossing the circumference here and here. And then I'm going to lift my set square and I'm going to label these two points. Let's call this C and call this D. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to connect C and D with a line, like so. And now I've just created another diameter, okay? So the point in which these two lines intersect, so right here, this is called the center of the circle or the midpoint of the circle. So what we did right now is we use the set square method to find the midpoint or center of a circle.